Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. In this video series, we're deploying a Blazor uh, static application into multiple services. So we already did on the Azure side, uh, Blob Storage. So now we're doing in the AWS side, S3. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start by creating a new bucket. And we're gonna do this one in the West. So US West, and then we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna call it Blazor site. Then we're gonna go to next. And in here, we're gonna leave this as is. We don't need any of this stuff. Usually I would recommend to encrypt the stuff, but this is a public website, so there's no point of encrypting it. So then we're gonna go ahead to permissions. In here, we're gonna take away the block all public access. So this is on by default because usually you don't want your buckets to be available to everybody, but in this case it's a website, so we want it to be available to everybody. So we're gonna acknowledge that we're making everything public, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create it. So we're gonna create the bucket, and here we can see it's empty in properties, we're going to select uh, the that we're going to do a static siting here and we're going to set the index HTML as the entry point and the error page. Um, so then we're going to save this and then we are going to go back oh sorry we so this I created with my regular uh, dev account and we kind of want this to be we will we have to add a a credential to the GitHub and I don't want to put my dev credential there you should have separation of duties and we're gonna create a well I already created an IAM with uh, that it's we I called it s3 bucket uploader so now we have to go ahead and create a policy so we're gonna copy the bucket and I click the policy generator and I already copied here the s3 uploader action and now we're gonna put the resource and for actions right now we're doing it quick so let's just do all actions but usually you should limit what this can do and more that the credentials are gonna be in github so we're gonna go ahead and generate the policy we're gonna save it here so I already went ahead and did some of the work on github as well so this is the full uh, deployment that we're doing. So I created a deploy to AWS site, and as always, this is all in my GitHub, so feel free to go there and look at it in more detail. And um, this is a regular build, and we, we push the artifacts, and then the deploy is the only thing that changes. We are downloading the artifacts same as usual and in here we're using the deploy to s3 as always i got it from the market so you can when you're editing you can always type here s3 and i used this one that was the one that had the most bone stars and it did what it did, needed so i actually went to the full marketplace listing which has all the documentation about how to use it and the, I set up, so I already went ahead in my secrets and I set up the key ID and the access key. Uh, so if you see here, I already have them. I'll have to update the bucket since I was doing the test bucket and I'll have to update the region as well. So we're gonna go ahead and here and let's go through it. So the arguments in here I'm making uh, public reads. So once again, this is to give everybody access to the documents we're uploading. If this was a private one, you should take this away. Then what, this one it follows all the links. Uh, basically any symbolic links that you might have to different files, it follows them because AW, uh, S3 doesn't support that. And then delete deletes any file that is not in the source. Uh, so any, if you have any extra files in the S3, it will delete them. So now let's go back uh, here and let's copy the name of the bucket. And we're going to change that 
we put it as a secret. It doesn't have to be a secret. It could be in the YAML. But I put it as a secret, so I updated that. Uh, I already got the access key for the uploader, S3 uploader uh, user. Uh, so those ones I'm not going to change. Uh, but you can always get them. If you have access to the console, you can get them through here and you go to my security credentials. And if you're doing it for another user, you just go to IAM and go to the user and get the security credentials of that user. So other than that, we have to change the region because we were using a different region. So I never remember the region. So US West, the easy way to check is we go to EC2. And we check here, uh, it's US West 2. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to put it here. So that should take care of everything. And so we should just commit. And this will start the action. So here it's going to be building. And I'm going to fast forward until it's all deployed. All right, so we finished deploying. And we can see here uh, how it uploaded everything to the bucket. And if we go back to the management console and we refresh, it should be there. So now if we go back here, because I didn't copy the site name and go here, we have our Blazor site. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.